Thanks for watching the, this AT video on homeowner repair. If you want to receive all the latest and greatest um, uploaded ATV videos on our channel, definitely subscribe. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to see if there's water in your rear brake drums. Um, say you went out riding and you went through like a huge stream or a big pond or a big something or other. The rear drums aren't working in the back and you suspect, you suspect that there could be some water or something in there. There's a drain uh, bolt that you can easily check to see. Let me see if I can get a light in here. And it is right down here. So let me see if I can show you with our light. So right here, um, let's see if I can, it's kind of a tight spot, but it's not hard to get at it, just hard to film in. <laughs> there's a hole right here um, to get a wrench in, and there's a nut inside there. If you put your wrench into this hole, and you back off on the nut that's in there, there, there you can see it. You can see my finger. Um, it goes right in there. That bolt, if you pull it out um, and the water comes shooting out, you may have like a leak or um, a bad seal in the drum case in the back and you might want to have to reseal it. Um, but it should be, for the most part, watertight according to the uh, manual. So that's how you relieve any water that might be in that, that casing. And um, you can let it dry out, inspect the brakes, and get your brakes working again. So I hope this tip helps you out if you've lost your brakes, you know, due to going through a pond or a river or something. And um, you know, thanks for watching the video. Hope this has helped you out.